Job 16 verse 2. I have heard many such things. Miserable comforters are ye all. Right. Shall vain words have an end? Or what emboldeth thee that thou answerest? Right. The Lord said, his brother Job turned his friends. He said, miserable comforters, how you are? That's what we want to say to all these religious preachers and stuff who will teach you all this stuff about get out of debt, about fix your debt. Now all you people who got out of debt, they brought a new house, brought a new car, do you still have them? Or did this big uh, financial crush take them back? Is that because everybody was feeding off the financial frenzy with their mortgage system and, and all this, uh, uh, no money down. Sign and go. Credit, credit, credit. Now that's poof, up in the air, up in smoke. All you big fat cat preachers who is preaching about debt, 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 debt. Every lesson about getting money, getting money, getting money. Now what? Now what? What are you preaching about now? Nobody got no money now. <laughs> how, how do you throw it back? Huh? How do you throw it back? Right. Give some of it back, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? You got to give that money back now. You got money back, I got to give it back. We know that. Job 16 and 4. I also could speak as ye do. If your soul were in my soul stead, I could heap up words against you. Right. And shake my head at you. That's what we can do. We would do the same thing. If we was in your position, we could do the same thing. Shake our head and say, nah, brother, nah, that's not right. That's not right, brother. What you doing? You can't talk to the people like that. You understand? That's not right, brother, you know. Because you 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 hooked up with the masses. You with the masses with the with the whole earth don't understand what we do here, man. So everybody could join with the crowd and say, yo, nah, brother, that's not right, bro. Not like that. That's easy, we know that. Joe, 16 and 5. Yes. But I will strengthen you with my mouth. And the moving of my lips should assuage your grief. It should assuage your grief, man. It should assuage me that again. But I will strengthen you with my mouth. But we will strengthen you with our mouth. Right, me? And the moving of my lips should assuage your grief. And the moving of our lips, that's going to move your grief away. It's going to move your grief out of the way. Because you're going to get better understanding. Because you really going to hear the words of the Lord. Clear. Clear. We're going to make it crystal clear. Read it out. Though I speak, my grief is not a sway. That's not. The Lord, the brother said, I speak, but you haven't cured me, man. You didn't do nothing with what you're talking about. Read it out. And though I forbear, what am I cease? Right. But now he hath made me weary. Thou hast made desolate all my company. That's the most high, the Heavenly Father. He made us weary. He made the righteous weary because they have no friends in the earth. The earth is filled with wickedness. So the righteous become weary, you know not. And thou hast filled me with wrinkles. With wrinkles. Thou hast filled me with wrinkles. Hold that. Read what you got again. Psalms 39 and 11. When, when thou with rebukes doest correct man for iniquity. When thou with rebukes doest correct man for his wickedness. Check this out. When the heavenly father with rebukes doest correct man for his wickedness. Thou makest his beauty to consume away like a moth. He makest his beauty to consume away like a moth. The guys looked so good when they were so young. The women looked so good when they were so young. I mean, they looked sharp. When the Lord does the beat them upside the head and start to pound them down and start to humble them up and make them look bad for their evil, for their wickedness. What's up, Bob? How you feeling? Yeah? I'm doing all right. I'm just kidding. Let's see y'all. Praise the Lord. I'll tell you. Praise the Lord. Okay. Let's read it out. Keep reading, bro. Psalm 39 11. When thou, rebuke, when, when thou with rebukes doest correct man for iniquity, right. thou makest his beauty to consume away like he a moth. Make his beauty to consume away like a moth. When the Lord correct man for his wickedness, he make him look bad. He starts to make him look bad. Read on. Psalms 39 and 12. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and give ear unto my cry. Right. Hold not thy peace on my tears. Hold not thy peace on my tears. Hear my prayer and consider my cry. Bring it back. Go. We'll use that. Joe, 
16 and 8. Read that verse again. And thou hast filled me with wrinkles. With wrinkles. Which is a witness against me. Which is a witness against me. And my leanness rises up in me. Right. Bear witness to my face. Bear witness to my face. That the Lord is coming down upon me, man. I'm getting lean. I'm getting slim. And I'm not upright no more. I'm getting weak and wrinkled. It's getting bad. Read it. They, he tear me in his wrath, who hateth me. He gnasheth upon me with his teeth. Right. My enemy sharpeneth his eyes upon me. He sharpeneth his eyes upon me. Read on. And they have gaped upon me with their mouth. They gaped upon us with their mouth, man. Just like they did with Job. They look and say, What are they doing? Wow. Look at the wow. You hear what they say? My man, all right. You hear what they look like? You hear what they do? Let's say you gotta go. Okay. Read on, that. This is Israel. Dizzy. They got kind of dizzy. It's sad. With the great slow, maybe the spirit can bring it out. But right now, dizzy. Show what you got, all right? Job 16 and 10. They have gaped upon me with their mouth. They have smitten me upon the cheek reproachfully. They badly slapped Job. They blast him. That's why Christ told us, turn the other cheek. If it should come to pass, turn the other cheek, read on that. They have gathered themselves together against me. Right. The Most High have delivered me to the unpowerless. He delivered the nation of Israel to the unrighteous. He delivered the nation of Israel in the midst of the unrighteous. Read on that. And turned me over into the hands of the wicked. He turned us over into the hands of the wicked. Now what we going to do? The Lord told us long time. Listen, man. I'm going to close this lesson up and let my man come up. I'm going to flow through a lot of few more verses. I'm stuck. It's feeling good. It's pretty hot. Hold what you got. <laughs> Hold what you got. Hold what you got. Give me Psalm of Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Read it. Psalm 39 and 12. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and give ear unto my cry. Like, hear my prayer, O Lord. Walk through our God. And give it. Oh, you can stop and listen, man. You can hang out, bro. You understand? Get some juice on your song. Read it. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and give ear unto my cry. Give ear to our cry. Hear our prayer and give ear to our cry. Read it. Hold not thy peace at my tears. Hold not thy peace at our tears. Let us be heard. Let our prayers be heard. We don't care nothing about nobody out here and what they think. Our prayers are to the Heavenly Father, man. Read it, brother. For I'm a stranger with thee, and a sojourner, as all my father's work. Oh, spare me that I that I recover my... Read on. Oh, spare me that I may...